If you really need electrolytes, take a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. It's not going to taste good. Mix it in some water, and you know that'll probably do just fine. Drinking Himalayan salt water can do wonders for your body. There are so many health benefits. What's the deal with all this alkaline water? This new health trend is everywhere, but what are the real benefits? A lot of people drinking vinegar, yes, vinegar, for an added health boost, leaving it in help with everything from blood pressure to weight loss. We've all heard claims about deficiencies, special water types, and miracle cures with lemon juice. But are they all true? Today, we're diving into the world of water, the essential drink that keeps us going. But water itself isn't the only story. Minerals and electrolytes dissolved in our water are tiny powerhouses crucial for nerve impulses, muscle function, and even blood pressure. In this video, we'll separate fact from fiction, exploring sodium and potassium, the battle between table salt and sea salt, the truth about alkaline water, and the surprising role of apple cider vinegar and lemon juice. So hit that subscribe button and let's get hydrated with knowledge. Sodium and Potassium, the Electrolyte Dream Team A common concern is a lack of sodium and potassium, often linked to reduced salt intake. While this is true for some individuals with specific health conditions, like those on diuretics or high sweat loss, such as athletes or manual laborers, a balanced diet typically provides enough for most people. Let's talk sodium. This mineral helps regulate blood pressure, fluid balance, and nerve function. However, the idea of needing salt water in the morning is an oversimplification. People with high blood pressure should consult their doctor before increasing their sodium intake. There's also a difference between table salt and sodium found naturally in foods. Table salt is mostly sodium chloride, while whole foods like celery and beets contain sodium along with other beneficial nutrients. Here's the good news. Healthy adults generally get enough sodium from a balanced diet that includes processed foods in moderation. The current recommendation for daily sodium intake is less than 2,300 mg, with an ideal limit of closer to 1,500 mg for some populations. Excessive sodium can lead to hypertension and cardiovascular issues. Potassium works hand in hand with sodium. It helps regulate blood pressure, muscle contractions and nerve signals. While some fad diets might restrict potassium, it's crucial for proper muscle function and is found abundantly in fruits and vegetables like bananas, leafy greens, and avocados. Did you know that even a slight potassium deficiency can lead to muscle cramps and fatigue? Severe deficiency, known as hyperkalemia, can cause serious health issues like arrhythmias. Getting enough sodium and potassium is usually straightforward. Focus on a balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. If you have concerns about your specific needs, especially with health conditions or high sweat loss, talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian. Sea salt versus table salt, the great debate. Now let's address the sea salt versus table salt debate. Many believe sea salt is superior because of its mineral content. Yes, sea salt does contain trace amounts of minerals like magnesium, calcium and potassium. But these amounts are very small around 1% or less of the recommended daily intake for these minerals. Table salt is typically fortified with iodine, a crucial nutrient for thyroid function that can be lacking in some diets, especially those low in dairy and seafood. Iodine deficiency can lead to goiter and hypothyroidism. Since the introduction of iodized salt in many countries, such deficiencies have significantly decreased. However, if you rely solely on sea salt, you might not be getting enough iodine, particularly if your diet lacks other iodine sources. The bottom line, both types can be part of a healthy diet. However, table salt is generally more sodium dense than sea salt, meaning you might use more sea salt to achieve the same level of saltiness, inadvertently increasing your sodium intake. If you're watching your sodium intake, be mindful of portion sizes when using sea salt. Alkaline and acidic water, separating fact from fiction. Let's move on to the world of alkaline and acidic water. 
The idea is that alkaline water can improve your health by neutralizing acidity in the body. Here's the science. Our bodies maintain tight control over blood pH, which is a measure of acidity or alkalinity. Drinking alkaline water has minimal impact on this overall pH. Different parts of the body have varying pH levels. Your stomach, for example, is naturally acidic to aid digestion. The blood, however, is slightly alkaline, with a pH of around 7.4. Your kidneys and lungs work constantly to maintain this balance. So, should you avoid alkaline water altogether? Not necessarily. It's perfectly safe to drink, but don't expect magical health benefits. For most people, sticking to regular water is just fine. There's limited scientific evidence to support claims that alkaline water can improve chronic health conditions. Some small studies suggest benefits like improved hydration status or neutralization of stomach acid, but more research is needed. Apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, more than just zesty additions. Finally, let's explore the claims about apple cider vinegar and lemon juice being miracle cures due to their acidity. These are indeed acidic, but when your body metabolizes them, the end product can be neutral or slightly alkaline. This doesn't translate to changing your overall body pH, though. Apple cider vinegar and lemon juice have potential health benefits, but these come from other properties. Apple cider vinegar may aid digestion due to its acetic acid content and prebiotic properties. Some studies suggest it might also help regulate blood sugar levels by improving insulin sensitivity. It has also been linked to weight loss through appetite suppression and increased feelings of fullness. Lemon juice is a good source of vitamin C, an antioxidant that supports immunity and skin health. It's also thought to aid digestion and may have a mild diuretic effect, helping with detoxification. Apple cider vinegar and lemon juice can add a delightful zing to your water. Enjoy them in moderation, but don't expect them to be a magic bullet for health. Be mindful of tooth enamel erosion, especially with high concentrations of lemon juice. Diluting it in water can help. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more science-based health tips. Action Steps Now that you're armed with knowledge, here are four simple action steps to take control of your hydration. 1. Eat a balanced diet. Focus on fruits, vegetables and whole grains for a natural source of potassium and other essential minerals. 2. Pay attention to sodium. If you're concerned about sodium intake, talk to your doctor. For most healthy adults, a balanced diet provides enough. 3. Consider adding a squeeze. A splash of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice in your water can add flavor and potentially aid digestion. Be mindful of moderation and tooth enamel. 4. Listen to your thirst. Don't wait until you're thirsty to drink water. Aim to sip water throughout the day. Remember, these are general tips. If you have any specific concerns about your electrolyte needs, consult a doctor or registered dietitian. So to recap, a balanced diet is usually the best way to get enough sodium and potassium. Both sea salt and table salt can be part of a healthy diet, but be mindful of sodium intake if using sea salt. Alkaline water is safe to drink, but it doesn't offer significant health benefits. Apple cider vinegar and lemon juice have potential benefits beyond impacting pH, but focus on those for a more realistic approach to their role in your health. Remember, staying informed and focusing on a balanced diet are keys to optimal hydration and overall well-being. Listen to your body's thirst cues, and don't be afraid to add a squeeze of citrus or a splash of vinegar to your water for a refreshing twist. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family to spread the knowledge. Also, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about electrolytes, minerals or that crazy world of water. Thanks for joining us today. Now go drink your water correctly and wisely. Stay hydrated, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.